All right, folks, check this out. This uh, huntsman spider has caught a Brahmini blind snake in my garden, literally right next to the strawberries. There's strawberries right there. And uh, I like to encourage everyone to go in the garden at night because uh, that's when a lot of cool stuff happens like this. Um, this is just wild. And uh, it's funny, I picked a few strawberries right next to it. It didn't move. And uh, here it is. But um, one other thing to note is that most of your insect pests are coming in at night. And you want these spiders in your garden. Man, these are the guardians of the garden. Now, this uh, blind snake is not uh, a pest. However, it is now sustaining a predator. And it itself is a predator. They eat like uh, termite larvae and things like that. So, uh, and ant larvae. So, a beneficial snake to have in my garden. But, um, the spider is going to be uh, probably better. <laughs> And so most of what your your pest species are, they're uh, going to be moths and the larvae of moths. So uh, that's why I like to come out in the garden at night. I just forgot I had these strawberries that I needed to pick because they're good for like a day maybe. <laughs> and um, if you don't eat them, something else will. So I got to them and noticed that. And yeah, huh, that's a uh, mother-in-law's dog over there. But sometimes you'll come out at night and you'll just see uh, moths laying eggs all over your plants. And you're like, oh no. But that's why we plant a million plants. <laughs> okay, not a million. But that's why we plant heavy. And those, those uh, pests are going to attack your weakest plants. So, I mean, like you can see, big collard right next to it, small collard with the leaves all eaten up. Like, that leaf got eaten in half. <laughs> so, those are kind of the... That's kind of how the I uh, see I think about pest management is grow plenty, the weakest ones are gonna die. So I'm just kind of perusing through the garden here, and a lot of stuff is very still. I don't see any moths tonight, but I'm thinking closer to the summer when it gets a little wetter, pest pressure is going to increase, and. Um, that's just the fact of the matter, and uh, I've been trying to catch whatever's getting this corn, but I haven't caught it yet. I think, I mean, I could Google it and see, you know, what attacks corn, but I want to actually see, see what's going on personally, because that's, that's how I learn and understand things better. <laughs> that's something funny. Um, there's a lizard sleeping <laughs> among my salad greens. So that's cool. Another pre a daytime predator hanging out in the garden. So yeah, it's good. It's good to go out in your garden at night and see what's going running around in there. I saw a toad one night, a spade foot toad in my garden. He's welcome, or she's welcome. So let's just see what's going on now. These moths. I uh, mentioned earlier they're also pollinators so they can be so it's funny how things can be beneficial and then detrimental at the same time and so that's why I don't use pesticides because um, you know something that's helping you could also be harming you and so you, you may end up throwing out you know the baby with the bath water and uh, you, just, you put poison on here and all of a sudden uh, no uh, <laughs> you have no pollinators and of course that's uh, not good. But I wonder if there's anything else interesting in here. Those tomatoes are popping off. That's nice. There we go. Sorry if that was uh, bothering you. It was a little blurry. But I'm not watching my screen too closely. I'm watching for uh, any interesting insects in here. Maybe there's some stuff over here. Nope, not too much. Not too much at all. But we're back around to the spider and the snake. What is going on here? Let's clear this up. So 
So it looks like the spider killed the snake and has now moved off of it. Maybe it's waiting. These spiders, they their venom digests their prey from the inside. Venom does all the work. So this is probably I think this is a female spider, so she'll probably just suck the juices out of this. It'll be like a you know one of those little gogurt tubes. <laughs> Alright folks, so that's it. that's it for tonight and uh, we'll see you guys next time.